Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be uh, finally going in with the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. Um, I recently just did a first thoughts, first impressions video on this. Um, you can check it out in the link below. Um, but I really wanted to wait uh, to use this palette to kind of get a feel of it and feel of the colors. I'm still not entirely sure what I'm going to be doing today. Um, but just experimenting with the colors because as everyone has pointed out, the colors in this palette are super, super pretty, super shimmery, super creamy. Um, so I'm really excited to get in and start using this palette. So let me bring you in closer. Okay, so for the most part, I do know that I want a sharper line. So I'm going to be going in with good old trusty scotch tape. And I'm just going to be putting that on the outer corners. So a look that I've noticed a lot of people are doing so far is kind of combining um, the blues with the browns. They'll put a nice smoky brown in the crease and then kind of put the blue on the lid. Um, I'm actually going to be trying to do more of um, a smoky browns with the reds look and kind of stay away from the blue for a little bit, or at least for today. So actually, first off, I'm going to be going in with a fluffy brush and using this shade right here at the very top taking a little bit of that and that's going to be my transition shade. And this is my first time actually using the colors on my lid uh, to their full potential. I have like played around with them for a little bit um, and I've also swatched them but this is the first time that I'm actually going in with a uh, full-on primer and everything and uh, making a look out of it. So for my next shade, I'm actually going in with that brown that's right below the first one that we used. And this is going to be going in on the outer to middle crease and I'm just going to blend it towards the inside. So I'm actually going a little brighter than I intended because I just really want to use some of these colors. I'll be going in with this almost orange shade right here and that's going to be going right on top of that um, brown that we added closer to the outside edge. And I'm just adding the product in and then I'm going to go in and blend it a little bit more. So far, blending the colors and using them on top of each other, they blend really well. Like I said, I've only really swatch them and use one or two colors on my lid without a primer. Um, like I said, today I have a primer on and it seems to be working really, really well blending and working with them together. Next, I'm going to be taking this shade that's actually right next to that orange one that we just used. It's on the second row and we're going to be adding that um, to the center. So this is a shimmery shade and it's going to add a little bit more volume, I guess, to this look instead of everything being uh, directly matte. Next, I'm going to be taking, whoop, if I can get it, um, this is the second shade at the very top, and I'm going to be taking this on the inner corner as well as my brow bone to kind of highlight that. Next, I want to tone down this um, reddish orange that I have going on a little bit, and I'm going to be taking this shade it's at the very bottom right here it's third from the last and i'm just going to be taking that on the very very outer corner 
to kind of add a little bit of darkness to this instead of it being completely bright. Next, pretty much done with my eyeshadow, I'm just been going in with my eyeliner and since I still have that tape on, it's going to allow me to create a nice sharp line like I want. Next, we'll be taking a liner brush, and I'm just going to be using this to pick up a color to place it on the bottom lash line. And the color that I'm going to be taking is this one right here. This is the second shade that we used um, on our lid. And I'm just going to be taking that and very, very lightly lining uh, the bottom lash line with it. Next for my mascara, I'm going to be using a mascara that everybody has been raving about online. It's the uh, Voluminous Lash Paradise, and this is L'Oreal. Uh, this is the just plain black. Um, so I'm going to be applying this. It really, why everybody is raving about it, it's a drugstore mascara. But you almost get a high-end quality with it. It works really, really well. And I'm just going to be finishing up my look, adding a little bit of highlighter, blush, and lipstick, and then we will finish up this look. So yeah guys, that is it for this look. Um, I really, really love this eyeshadow palette. Like I said, I love the variety of colors, but as I was able to actually test it out today and blend the colors together and make an actual look with it, I love the palette even more. I would say that it's definitely worth the purchase if you're willing to spend the extra upcharge that... Um, they did on this palette versus their old palettes. Uh, I know the old palettes are between $18 to $22. This one was $38, um, $45 total with shipping. Um, so if you're looking to get this palette and you're a bit unsure, I would say go for it. It's definitely worth that extra uh, price. So yeah guys, that was it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. Uh, comment below on any other ideas or looks or any kind of videos that you would like to see in the future. Um, subscribe for more videos like this and I will see you all in the next one.